curly because I have naturally curly hair. Um, so let's go ahead and get into this. Um, first, I'm going to show you what shampoo I use. I use the matching shampoo and conditioner. Um, I use this moisturizing replenish shampoo. It is infused with coconut, olive, and marola oils. It's paraben, silicone, and sulfate three. Those three things in a shampoo is key to when you have curly hair. I cannot say that enough. I've for I turned 21, and for at least the first 10 years, I really did not care about my hair. I did not like my hair. I've actually grown to love it. Um, but with my hair being as coarse and curly as it is. And for anybody that has curly hair, and I mean anybody, where it, it's a light wave, curly, you know, pinwheel curls, whatever it is, having a shampoo that's paraben, silicone, and sulfate three, free is your most important in a shampoo. Same way with your conditioner. You want silicone free, all that. You want as a natural shampoo and conditioner as you can get. So this is what it is. I just use, oh, you can't see it. There we go. Um, it's just the... Mizani, uh, True Textures, Curls, Coils, and Waves. Um, you actually cannot get this in like at Walmart or anything. Um, my hairstylist actually has to pick this up for me uh, because it's meant for salon use and she has, she's of course a cosmetologist and she practiced and studied in to naturally curly and ethnic hair uh, and she uses this on all her ethnic patients. Um, ethical or not ethical that's not right um ethic that has like the really deep curly hair um and just curls like mine she uses this um and it works wonders and i mean wonders so i highly recommend this um like i said you cannot find this at walmart but contact your hairstylist and tell them if you have curly hair uh, they should know what this is because uh, honestly they should be using it because it's the best thing ever smells great um, like I said, I have the shampoo and the matching conditioner to it. Okay, so already I've brushed through my hair, finger combed my hair, and I've also put two things in my hair already. Um, it's this Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco, just like this. Like I said, um, I've had this probably almost a year, and I still have that much in there, and I use it every day. So, it goes a long way. Um, I use oil because... My ends of my hair get really dry and damaged and all that, so it's important for me to have that. And I also use Garnier Hoblin's uh, Leave-In Conditioner, the Coconut and Cocoa Butter one. Um, just looks like this. These two I buy from Dollar General uh, because Dollar General is closer to me where I'm at uh, than a Walmart. So I buy these two, but you can get them at Walmart if that's closer to you. So now that I've done that and I went through my hair, um, my ends of my hair were like really frizzy like I mean really really frizzy like I mean poofy and after I put that oil in and the leave-in conditioner it settled it and it's still poofy just because my ends are so dry and they've always have been so not much I can do on that one so the next thing I'm going to do is I use two products and I know this one be like, oh my gosh, she used two products in her hair. A lot of products. Curly hair is hard to tame. Uh, like I said, I'm 21 and I've been dealing, dealing with it for 21 years. And I've started really taking care of my hair in the last 11 years. Um, so, hard to tame. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is another Garnier product. Um, it's called Curl Sculpt. It's a conditioning cream gel. This works really well. I go through my ends with this. And I just get the, it, okay, so as you can see right here, it says bouncy curls. It's for curly hair. It's with shea butter, which is also really good for your hair. And it says it has the levels of hold that it has, and I just get the level three. I don't need nothing more than that. And maybe if I can get it open. There we go. And I just use, it's really thick because it's a conditioning cream. So I started off with about that much in my hand. I just rub it with the two with my two hands. And then I gotta step back so I'm in frame. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my hair over. So just like this, I'm gonna take my two hands right here 
So I'm going to keep pulling my hair out in front, and then I'm just going to go down. I would say, I don't know, I'm not even midway up my hair. I'm probably, I don't know, a good six inches up my hair is where I'm going to start. And same way in the back. The back, I go farther down just because I have little, I have a little Shirley Temple curls in the back, I've been told. So I just run it through like that, kind of finger comb through it again. And then I still have some residue left on my hands. So what I do is I take it, I'm going to scrunch. And this just helps your hair for when you go and um, go to diffuse it because I diffuse my hair. So you just scrunch, make sure you get the back. Now that you trenched it, flip it back over, and as you can see, I have these nice little curls that like to get in my face. I have nice bouncy curls. So, it helps just bring the curls back after I wash it, because my curls can fall out sometimes. So. Just scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Okay. I'm going to get closer again. So, sorry about my roots thing then. Um, I have all these frizzy hairs right here. Not so much in the back, but towards the front of my face. As you can see, it's like, I don't know if you really can. There we go. They're like really dry and stuff. So that's where another product comes in. Um, this is a, also a Garnier product is called curl construction creation mousse um, it's also a level three as for weightless curls um, honestly to tell you I don't buy any of my hair stuff like this like my Garnier stuff that oil that leave-in conditioner I buy it all at the Dollar General because like I said it's closer than Walmart but you can get everything that I I will tell you when you can't get it at the Dollar General honestly um, but everything so far I've got there. Okay, so you're going to take this and just shake, shake, shake. Because you want it shook up, shook up real good. I'm just going to take it like you're making ice cream. Like that. I get about that much. And I run it through or over my hands to make sure it's all evenly distributed. And you don't want to rub it too much because eventually it's just going to turn to oil and that does you no good. So you still want poofy whiteness in it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my head back so all my hair falls. And just rub it through the tops of my hair. And down the mid shaft. I meet where I put the sculpting gel where I meet with the mousse and sometimes I'm going to eat a little more because it's raining outside so my hair is extra dry today yay so a little more I don't use much more and so those dry pieces that I talked about that are up here I really want to focus my concern on those so I run through them real good and then I have dry curls underneath. And so, and then I just, after that, we scrunch it again. Just to make sure everything gets evenly distributed through. Okay. So this is what my hair looks like after product's been put in it and everything. They're loose bounce curls. 
but we're gonna fix that in just a minute. Now, since my hair is long, I mean, it's probably midway down my back. Um, it's not as bouncy as what it would be if I had shorter hair. So if you have shorter curly hair and you're following this routine, um, after we diffuse it, it or even like this, they're, they're probably a little more, you know, they're more bouncier, they're more, they got a little more curl to them than what mine does, uh, but since my hair is so long, it weighs them down. So, next thing, another key to having curly hair is a diffuser. If you do not have a diffuser, I suggest you go get one, and especially if you have curly hair and you like to wear it down, um, because I feel as if air dry, sometimes I do let my hair air dry, but if you know, air dry, I feel like just makes it more, more dry, more nasty feeling, if that makes sense. So, I just have my hair dryer, is down here in the corner, is, it's just the Revlon Perform, or it's just a Revlon hair dryer. Got it from Walmart, looks like this. And it comes with two attachments. Of course, you just have the hair dryer itself. You have the diffuser, and then you have the attachment um, for if like you blow out your hair to like make it straight. So I just attach the diffuser. And so the important step is have it on high heat. So high heat. And it's off right now and you want it to go on high to blow your hair so the first thing you want to do is you just want to hold it there and let your gel like the, the all the gel that I put in and the mousse and all that you want that all to dry you don't want you just don't want to go in and to diffuse it uh, with the gel and stuff because if you do that you're just going to have a big poofy mess we don't want that so I'm going to go ahead and blow dry my hair, but you are going to see it a lot faster than what it's going to take. So I will see you when I am done. drying my hair and this is what the curls look like all the way around my head so after I blow dry it um, as you've seen halfway through when it's halfway dry I go ahead and put hairspray in it and then when I'm finished I'll do hairspray again and it's the same hairspray that I use while it's so I just take it So that's what my hair looks like when I wear it out. 